welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video which is what's in my bag slash school bag and this is my Louis Vuitton it's so heavy my Louis Vuitton never full bag and I'm going to just basically show you guys what I would carry on a school day and then just kind of show you what I carry like on an everyday basis it's kind of like the same thing except for like three items that I carry for school so I'll be showing you that but before I get started, I wanted to mention a company called Thread Up. Well, it's actually a site, and it's basically an online consignment shop. Living in New York, there are so many consignment shops, and I feel like I'm never able to find one that has, like, luxury items. I never find items that I actually like, so it's just usually, like, a waste of time for me. But this one is an online consignment shop. You can actually make money by selling your items to the site. And it's really awesome because they're doing like huge giveaways and they have like a new program that launched. It's called Bag Up. If you do decide to get rid of your unwanted items, if they sell the item, they will give you 100% of what it's sold for from now until the end of the year, which I think is so awesome. And they're doing like huge giveaways. So they're going to be giving away three designer bags. So every Monday you can enter. So from now until December 22nd, you can enter. And I think there's only like two Mondays left. But I just wanted to mention it to you guys anyway because I think it's an awesome opportunity to win. They're giving away three bags. And I know one of them is Fendi. So that's really, really awesome. It's absolutely free and you can just, you know, enter. And you can enter as many times and you can get your friends to sign up. So I'm going to leave the link right in the description bar. They did contact me, but I think this is an awesome opportunity for you guys to win something. So any bag that you've spent over $50 on or any wallet that you've spent over $30, dollars on you can participate in the bag up so with this bag up you're gonna get a hundred percent of what it sells for which I think is awesome on certain apps where you sell things like let's say you're selling a pretty inexpensive item or a purse they'll take like a big chunk away from what it's selling for and I feel like then you're just kind of like oh what a waste like that was just not worth my time and effort and things like that so I think this is an awesome opportunity to make money to buy like really cool gifts and there's like Jimmy Choo Fendi and they're gonna be giving away three bags and I'm like really excited I'm even entering because I really want to get a new wallet and yeah so again the company is called thread up and I'll leave all the information down in the description bar so let's get started on what's in my bag it is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM which is the middle size so it's kind of like the medium size there is a smaller one and there is a larger one but I do have the MM and I recently got it and it's so heavy I can't even like pick it up so I have my purse in the Damier Eben print I think there's like so many people pronounce it so many different ways and I think that's the way you say it Damier Aben but it's the kind of like chocolate brown color I actually have the speedy as well but I've been using this one as of lately and I'm absolutely head over heels with this bag it is my baby I'm obsessed with it so I'm gonna go ahead and start because this video is gonna be super long first things first is this little pouch that it comes with I know someone commented that when they bought their Neverfull that it didn't come with this every video that I've watched of an unboxing of this bag or what's in my bag or a review it has come with this so I don't know maybe I don't know but mine came with it and it comes just like attached you can actually detach it but I always have it inside because I think it's really convenient to have like extra storage so it just has like a gold zipper and inside here I basically just have a feminine product and I have two blue pens these are by Bic and these are the round sticks and they're like the medium size point I really just use any blue pen that isn't too runny so that's what's inside there I don't really keep much in there sometimes I'll put my makeup in there if I don't feel like carrying a makeup bag but I really like it because it just organizes everything a lot better so the heaviest and biggest item that's in here is my laptop and I don't want to pick this up too much because the camera kind of just like loses its color and it just gets crazy but this is a Marc Jacobs case and I got this on Nordstrom.com inside here I basically have my MacBook Pro Retina and this is what it looks like. I have a clear case on it by Spec. And yeah, I love my computer. This is what I use to edit my videos. I use iMovie. I do want to use Final Cut. I have Final Cut Pro, but and I know how to use it because I use that in school, but I don't know. I've just always used iMovie for my YouTube videos. But this thing is so dirty. It's disgusting. I don't know what happened. Like I've dropped my computer so many times and I actually have like a piece of my work card here, like stuck inside. It's a hot mess, but I'm thinking of getting rid of this computer and actually getting a new one, but yeah, this is my case, and every time I pull this out, people are like, whoa, like, it is neon pink. It's bright, 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 and it is heavy, but it's not as heavy as a regular MacBook Pro. This is the MacBook Pro Retina, so it's a little bit lighter, and it's specialized for graphics, so the display is really nice, but let me stop talking about tech stuff, because 
that's getting a little nerdy but yeah this is my laptop whenever I have a three hour lecture or like a really big break in between my classes I carry my laptop because let me be honest, I know I'm guilty of going on Sephora.com, MakeupAlley.com, YouTube.com. Like, I will literally watch a YouTube video silent. Like, I'll mute it while lecture is going on and just watch YouTube because I'm addicted to YouTube and Makeup Alley and Sephora and every makeup site that you can imagine. So I bring my laptop most of the times now. This bag isn't the best for carrying your laptop. I feel like I'm kind of ruining it because it is a little bit heavy. The strap slash handles on this are a little thin so I don't really like carrying my laptop in here like I feel like I should carry it like in a cheaper bag but for the most part I've been carrying it because it's like the last two weeks of school so it's just been I just it's much easier to just throw my laptop in there and I basically just use pages I open up a blank page and I type my notes on there but aside from that I do carry a notebook most of the time and this is my notebook it's a five star five subject notebook basically it's a one subject but I put five subjects in here and this thing is beat up and busted like you can't even see the little subject things because it's just being thrown around in my bag but yeah I have my classes but sometimes I'm too lazy and I'll just carry my laptop and then I have this folder which is so awesome I love this folder it's from Staples this thing is so full right now but it's basically like a presentation folder it's not really meant to hold this much paper but I love this because when I'm studying on the train I'll put like my study sheet right here and I can just read it while holding this instead of just holding like one paper I think this is awesome because you can like decorate a page and like put it in the front I think this is like so cool it's clear and I always always go for these clear folders I just love these and this thing is so full I just have like pink paper clips in there and I don't even want to like go through this stuff because it's crazy town in there. Next up is the book that I'm currently reading and this is Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. And it's kind of an anonymous author, it doesn't really have an author but it's what I'm reading for my English, my British English literature class. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good book I guess. I'm basically just like sparks noting it but... Shh, don't tell no one. The rest of the stuff that I'm about to show you is what I just carry like on a daily basis if I'm just going to work or if I'm just hanging out with friends or anything like that or if I'm just going shopping. Sometimes I'll throw like a couple more things in here because it is kind of empty without like my books and stuff but the first thing I see is my makeup bag and this is from Victoria's Secret. I love this makeup bag. It's the perfect size. It's a little small like I don't carry that much makeup with me. My makeup pretty much lasts all day so I'm going to quickly just show you what I carry. I just put on this makeup. I actually filmed the tutorial, so let me know if you want to see this. Thumbs up this video. So I kind of just threw like what I would carry in here. But first thing is this Morphe brush, and this is the G8, and it's a perfect just like powder brush, and I really like it. Mine's a little dirty, but this is part of their gunmetal collection, and I love that brush. It's a great powder brush, all over powder brush. So I carry my powder. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Translucent Powder, and I've hit serious pan on this. This is amazing. It's a great great setting powder. It's very finely milled. It's very light. It doesn't look cakey. It just gives you a flawless look and it kind of mattifies your face. So I'll carry this if I'm wearing like a really dewy dewy foundation. If I'm wearing my Estee Lauder double wear foundation, I don't carry a powder because I honestly don't really need one. But if I'm using like a drugstore foundation or any other foundation, I'll carry that. I do carry a bronzer with me mostly at all times just because my bronzer tends to wear off because I'm always like touching my face or scratching my face or touching my hair so this is the NYX matte bronzer so this is in the shade medium I do have the darker shade but this one I don't know I'm not crazy about it I'm wearing it today I'm kind of just feeling it out it's too reddish toned for me or too orange but I've just been using it because I did buy it so then I have this Costa Riche eye pencil which is from MAC it is what I'm wearing on my waterline it's just a really nice brown it's a reddish tone brown so I really like that it really just opens up the eyes and really makes your brown eyes stand out next I have this lip balm which I get so many questions on this is the Smith's Rosebud Salve I get this at Sephora for seven dollars you can find this like when you're checking out in that little danger zone where they put all those little goodies that you know you shouldn't be buying but um yeah this is my lip balm I love this I have it in the little tub form I did buy the Jack Black one you guys told me Jack Black lip balm is the best so I did buy that but I go through these like crazy it's just it's awesome it smells like roses and it really does moisturize my lips I live in New York so it's been crazy town it's winter and my lips have been taking a beating next I carry this brush this is a Sonia Kashuk number 29 blush brush and I like this brush because it fits perfectly in my makeup bag a lot of my brushes are a lot 
longer handled so I like carrying this one for my blush and my bronzer so I'll do my bronzer first with this brush like if I'm on the go and then I'll do my blush with it so that I'm not putting like pink get me on the bronzer spots so I carry that brush then I'll carry whatever blush I have on for the day or just like a blush that I really love this is MAC blush baby I love this blush it is so great I love it love it love it it's a dusty mauve it's matte it's amazing I do have this on right now on my cheeks I love it so I normally carry this blush so once I'm done doing my makeup I'll make sure to throw it in here and then I have this little brush, it's by Sigma, this is the eye shading brush, and this is the E55. I like to carry a little like smudger brush, something that I can kind of just smudge or smoke out my lash line. Because a really cool trick is you don't have to carry like a brown matte shadow, you can just use your bronzer underneath your eye. And I think it really looks nice and really just completes your look. Next up, I have this Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Waterproof Pencil. This was actually like a VIB, I think, points or something, and it was just a little bit bigger, but I definitely want to repurchase this because it doesn't transfer on my waterline if I tightline with it. So this is just like a black color, and I really love it. It's from, again, Makeup Forever, and it's just like a little black eyeliner, and I love to tightline. I normally don't wear black on my waterline just because I feel like it closes up my eyes unless I'm doing a smoky look or I really want to like intensify my look. Most of the times I'm wearing brown. Next I always carry the lip color that I'm wearing and I'm wearing Sephora's Lip Stain in the color Endless Purple. This has been discontinued. Sad face. It's just like the perfect shade. It's matte. It doesn't rub off. You can wear it all day. I don't even use a lip liner with it. That's how awesome it is. Next I carry a mascara. This is MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. This is the mascara that I've been wearing for the most part, I love using this because it doesn't transfer onto my cheeks. It's not waterproof, but it doesn't transfer, so I love it. And it really lengthens my lashes, and I love using it on my lower ones. And last but not least, I do carry like a nude lip combo, just in case I am wearing a lip like I am now, and then I decide to take it off, or it's just too much, or I decide to go to dinner, and I don't know, I just don't feel like wearing a dark lip. I carry Too Faced Nude Beach for the most part because it's so moisturizing, so let's say I forgot my lip balm, this is just two-in-one it's such a perfect nude color and it's my all-time favorite if you've been watching me you know that's my like go-to nude and then I carry a nice lip gloss with me this is MAC ample pink which is my all-time favorite pinky lip gloss it's awesome it just looks really really natural and great so that's what I carry in my makeup bag next up don't judge me I have this Doña Pepa and this is from Peru this is like a Peruvian chocolate and it has like little sprinkles on it, it tastes so so good oh my god I love these so I just carry like a random snack sometimes. I'm really bad about bringing it with me because I always forget. But like I need to be more conscious and just throw one in there just in case I want to like snack in school and I don't have like cash or something. Next up is my wallet. And this is from Kate Spade. I got this at the outlet in Pennsylvania. This thing is a hot mess. So many coupons, papers, loyalty cards, my metro card, my debit card, school card. Is I need to like go through this and really like organize it but this is just a navy blue wallet I do want to get the Louis Vuitton wallet that matches this bag <sighs> wishful thinking I wanted to get it for myself for Christmas but I don't know if that's really gonna happen but for now this is what's been working and again it's by Kate Spade I don't know like the name of it or anything I picked it up at the outlet for like $75 I think it was like 150 originally so it's a pretty good deal I like that it has a zipper but what's really annoying is that the zipper for the coins like this little change zipper if you close it sometimes it'll get stuck so like you'll try to open your wallet and it's just like not going and I hate that about this wallet but for the most part it's really pretty it's sleek and it goes with everything next up I have my tangle teaser which is just my hairbrush comb yes I carry my comb with me in my purse I will comb my hair if I need to and I believe I got that Tangle Teaser at Kohl's or TJ Maxx. Next up, I have the Soap & Glory Righteous Body Butter. And this is just a lotion. This stuff smells so good. This stuff smells awesome. It smells so fresh, so clean. And this is just like a baby version. I got this at Sephora as a 100-point perk. Like, I redeemed 100 points for two of these. I went through one of them already. And I actually bought the big version of this. But I'm not really liking it on my body so much. I think I just like this as a hand cream. But either way, it smells really good and I always carry it with me. I have my gum. This is the only gum that I chew. This is the Orbit Sweet Mint and this is a new pack. I have like three packs sitting there because I'm crazy about this gum. Whenever it's on sale, I literally like rack up. Like I buy all the ones that they have there because this is just the best tasting gum to me. It's sweet but it's minty. It's not overpowering. It doesn't like hurt my tongue or anything. It's just, it's just amazing and it lasts pretty long for me. I have my... 
portable charger. I basically just have my lightning cable that just unplugs here into this little USB port. This is just a lightning cable for any iPhone 5 or 6. And yeah, this thing is a lifesaver. I actually have to charge mine right now. It has no charge in it, but this thing is awesome. I do still have my Mophie, which is like a case version of a portable charger. I personally don't like cases on my phone, so this is what I go with. I think it's awesome. I think this was like 20 bucks, the actual little charger piece, and then the cable is separate, so you have to buy that separate. And I'm pretty sure it was a Walgreens. I really don't remember, but I love this thing. We're almost at the end here. Next, I have my camera. This is the camera that I've been vlogging with. This cute little case I got at Best Buy. And I get a lot of questions on what camera I use. Mine is super beat up. I definitely want to get a new vlogging camera. I want to get the Sony Nexus, even though I'm Team Canon. This is a power shot, and this is the ELF 300HS. And this is a 4.3, 21.5mm camera. This is just a point-and-shoot camera. I love it. And this is what I've been vlogging with. And I used to actually use this to film my videos. So if you go back to my older videos, you notice I didn't have a light. And I didn't have a really nice camera. So this is what I used to use. And this brings back so much memories to me. So I love this little camera. But I do want to kind of upgrade. So for now, that's what I've been using. And I have to like really remember to charge up the batteries. I need to buy more SD cards. And always throw it in my purse. I can always vlog. I actually didn't vlog today, which... Shame on me, but hey, I have a video coming for you guys. Next, I have a little clip. This one is from the beauty supply store. It's just a white clip. Sometimes I like to clip my hair back when I'm in school. Then I have this little guy, which is a Travelo. It's basically a perfume automizer. And inside of here, currently, I have Dolce by Dolce Gabbana, which there's like basically nothing left. I didn't know how easy it was. You basically align this little hole down here with like the perfume, like take off the top and you just kind of align it and you squeeze it and this thing just fills up and it's really awesome because you don't have to carry like a big perfume with you or a rollerball. I think this is much cooler because it's a spray and you get to carry your favorite perfume and you get to like switch it out every week or whatever. So I think that's awesome and I got that on Holt Look. I carry my keys, nothing special, doesn't have any charm on it, any keychain because I like it nice and simple. I don't like to carry big keychains. I have a hair tie, we're like at the end here. I have another pen, which shouldn't be there. I hate when I just throw my pens in here because the top can come off and then ruin my bag, but sometimes I'm really lazy to put it inside of a pouch. Next, I have this little mirror, which is by Sephora. Nothing special, just a mirror. I got this like as part of a gift card, so if you buy a gift card for someone, it comes with a really cool mirror. One side is magnetized, and I like it because it's nice and compact and small. And the last thing I have in here is my iPod. Fun fact, if you saw my last what's in my bag, you noticed that I have a silver iPod Classic that I had lost, and then I got it back, and then I lost it again at the nail salon. So, I'm using this one, which was just laying around in my house. It's just a black iPod Classic, and I have my regular Apple headphones in there. And so, basically, my bag is empty except for this little pocket, and I don't really have much in it. I have, like, a receipt. Let's see from where this receipt is. Oh, what would you know? Sephora, of course, and of course I carry my phone with me. This is the iPhone 6. I'm going to have a what's in my iPhone video very soon. I have a case on it. A lot of people ask me. It's by Casemate, and I got it at the at t store. I normally stick my phone into that little pocket just so I can reach it a lot faster. So basically, that's everything that's in my bag, and I know it's not really that fun, but I like to see what's in other people's bag. Even though it's pretty much the same for everyone, we kind of just want to see like what makeup bag we're carrying or like what wallet we have. So don't forget to check out Thread Up. I'll leave it down below. And again, if you want to see a tutorial on this look, then let me know. Thumbs up this video, and I will definitely get that out for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. So you don't actually have to, you know. Tr this, look, guys, so I'm back, and I'm, whoa, all right, no, is a, you can use, what? No. Hey, do you want to have something? From where? Some nuggets and fries from Wendy's? Um, yeah. Okay. So fresh, it's so clean, clean. <laughs> Four things. And barbecue and ranch! <laughs> My professor's watching this, automatic F. Okay.